What's up dudes, it's Jeremy. I'm doing a short discussion video on Ex Machina, 100% my favorite movie of 2015. And so uh, I just wanted to, um, I'll break it down this way, okay? I want to talk about the ending, of course, and then I just want to um, have a few things I want to point out about each character. And then that'll probably be just about it. That'll wrap up everything that I thought about this movie. The cinematography, so great. I've done a one minute review, so just check that out if uh, you need to know any more. Uh, Spoilers are ahead, so get ready. The ending. Did Ava pass the Turing test? No. I think that she thought so incredibly systematically, just like you would expect artificial intelligence to. There was no empathy. She was driven by one purpose, and that purpose was to escape. And she, whatever, found every which way she could to get to that, you know, final goal. And, um, Caleb, you know, Caleb was her outlet, I guess. I don't think there's even a whole lot to it, really. I don't think, you know, a lot of people are debating it, and I just, I don't even think it's worth a debate. It's absolutely, there's no fucking way. That being said, I'll just start with Ava. Um, Ava is definitely complex, even though I think she's just a very, still very robotic character, and I think that she was played very well because you don't get that feeling, really. I just kind of like know it at the end it, it, you know throughout the movie she shows the emotion like shows everything that she needs to but i think that she only shows that to get to her goal of getting to, you know to escaping the facility i think that um she does that so incredibly well that the you know the viewer and this is of course on the filmmaker's part but as the viewer like you watch the entire movie and then at the end it's like wow i just got played just as hard as caleb did because i thought there was something more to this and there isn't she's she's AI and she's just thinking systematic. My favorite scene with Ava is when she is straight punching all the, until her arm is fucking gone, punching the walls of the facility and I think that that just further cements the idea that she's just driven, you know, with one purpose and one purpose being get out of this place. Like I said before, uh, Caleb was just an outlet for her, and there's an incredible amount of depth to all the characters, um, but especially with Caleb, he's uh, you know a little bit more shy, he's a little bit more timid than Nathan, and maybe I, I'll, I'll just talk about these two together because Nathan and Caleb they really build off each other in a way that made it incredibly interesting. Um, Nathan, of course, uh, is very masculine. He's very uh very obsessed with his masculinity too. He know he he really has a a god complex. And I think that there's a lot to that. There's a lot that influences the story based on that because Nathan feels that he is above, you know, basically all of this and that's, you know, Caleb Caleb's the one who isn't so sure, you know, he has to question everything. And uh back to Caleb, my favorite scene with Caleb is that uh that scene when he has just completely lost his shit and he's at the point where he cuts himself because he's got to make sure that he's not a robot. Like, he's losing it. And of course, we've got Nathan. A lot of people's favorite scene with Nathan is the dancing scene. And, uh, you know, of course, I love that. I thought it was pretty great. Um, I guess I, I, I would say that's probably my favorite scene with him. It just goes to show he's so... Uh, like I said, nonchalant. He just thinks he's up here and then the rest of the shit, this work that he's doing that is so incredible to Caleb, ain't nothing but a thing. So obviously that's part of his downfall too is that he thinks he's above all this. He thinks he's smarter than Caleb. He, you know, like he's, he's above it all. And uh, obviously he's not. I don't have a whole lot more to that because it, this movie is of you know it's fairly simple it's just it's beautifully shot and it has three very in-depth characters uh with a lot to them and i think that that's what makes it so incredible uh what i love the most about this movie is that it really kept me guessing and then at the last moment realized that there wasn't really a whole lot to guess for because we all just got played so i hope you dudes enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you're thinking uh feel free to like subscribe of course and uh as always thanks for watching dudes